Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palne Pramanikam. We have talked about gut bacteria in the past, but I don't think we understand the importance of how good the gut bacteria should be. Gut bacteria can be like katapas. It can serve well to us like Bahubali's, but at the same time, it can kill as well if we don't take care of it. So I can tell you that with the research I, that I'm involved in, gut bacteria is the cornerstone for everything. It has been linked to autism, obesity. It might be even linked to Suresh Raina not being picked up IPL. On the other hand, if we have good bacteria in our small intestine, it has been proven to improve our immunity so that we can be ready for COVID-22. In this video, we are going to talk about how to get good bacteria in the small intestine. I am hoping that after listening to this video, your bad bacteria in your small intestine will be like listening to Samutra Kani movie and change to good bacteria. So let me tell you an interesting story. I did a colonoscopy on a patient for colitis, which is an inflammation of the colon. The treatment for colitis in some cases can be stool transplant. So this patient was a very lean 50 kilogram patient. We transplanted stool from a healthy obese patient who was 150 kilograms. So we transferred the stool from the obese patient who was healthy to the lean patient who had colitis and the inflammation of the colon was completely gone but after one year this 50 kilogram lean patient turned out to be 100 kilogram without changing any dietary factors this created significant research opportunities in this field that why did this happen this is likely related to gut bacteria that we transferred it is causing so many other issues which we don't even think of maybe good maybe bad based on the type of bacteria that has been transferred. My friend Saravna Kumar is like, if I have to get good bacteria, how much should I pay you? Da? He had changed Dr. Pal into PayPal account. Unfortunately, good bacteria is not like the medicine seed that you can buy it with money. The only way that you can get good bacteria is based on what you eat. Yes, you are what you eat. Food is the medicine, which is the old saying, which is absolutely true. But nowadays, people are taking medicine as food. They are having paracetamol as an ingredient in sambar. If we keep on doing this, instead of karvapilai and kothamalli, we will do aspirin and dolo 650. See, the relationship between diet and gut bacteria starts when you are born. Multiple research studies are showing that babies who are born by C-section and they are formula fed, they are at increased risk of obesity and diabetes down the road compared to babies who have been delivered vaginally through natural route and they are breastfed. When they are coming through vaginal delivery, they are exposed to all the bacterial colonization which is promoting good bacteria in their gut. There have also been some research that if there is bad bacteria in the small intestine, it has been linked to mental health problems and autism in young kids. My friend Saravana Kumar who was born by C-section now wants to go back to the mom's tummy and then come out through normal delivery. So there are trillions of microbes in our small intestine. We don't know about the individual characteristic of this microbial organism, but we know that as a group, we'll be able to classify classify as a good bacteria and bad bacteria. To identify this, there are some technical kits available like Ombre. This is a stool testing. You submit the stool sample to the lab. They will look into it and then find out what category of bacteria that you have. They will give you a report. If your bad bacterial category is more than the good bacteria, you can follow the five steps that is included in this video to promote the good bacteria, which is going to be a life changing behavior for you. I have used this test for a few of my patients to find the imbalance that they have and it has actually helped them to understand the importance of the gut bacteria. So now we know how important the good bacteria is. I will tell you five steps to improve your good bacteria in your gut. Number one. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Everybody should take at least 25 grams of fiber per day. 
fruits and vegetables has lots of fiber one apple has four grams of fiber but the problem is we don't include fiber in our diet at all you should include at least one fruit or one serving of vegetables in every meal how many of us just eat dosa and sambar for breakfast for a long time including me my favorite breakfast is dosa and sambar and even for that i will tell my amma sambar la parup illama uthu number 2 please include fermented foods like idli curd mor kolambu palaya sadam dokla make sure that it is fermented and one serving at least per day you know my friend saravana kumar is like no matter how the invention has been nobody can beat our palaya soru i will completely agree with him because he has tried everything west east north south including palaya pizza so number 3 is avoid processed food processing is a process where you add ingredients to increase the shelf life of the products my friend saravana kumar loves boxed processed food especially if it has crossed the expiration date because he can fight with the owner and buy it at a half rate for example if a bowl of beans lasts for only one day you could add sugar or salt preservative or trans fats to increase the shelf life almost to one year and this is a completely unhealthy process so how do you know whether it is processed as a general rule there are two things that you should look at number 1 if it is white it might not be good this is true for 95% of the time and number 2 if the food comes in a box or completely covered or frozen or ready to eat 95% of the time it is processed as well examples include bread cereals ketchup anything that comes up in boxes like boxed juices boxed drinks except for milk and curd 95% of the time if you see anything white it is not right when it comes to food if it is white it doesn't denote peace it's actually help us rest in peace also before you eat anything look at the ingredients if any of the ingredients contains this word artificial please do not take it my friend saravana kumar after listening to this is not buying any product with any name on it even iso certification so the fourth step is try to be a vegetarian as much as possible because vegetarian food has lots of fiber and your bacteria will love it you will develop good bacteria in your small intestine more than non vegetarian diet because that diet doesn't have that much fiber at all most of us don't even look at the vegetarian side of a buffet or a get together if you eat eat vegetable you are being seen as untouchable so i love non vegetarian but i have limited myself consciously to one meal a week because there are 21 meals a week three meals a day 21 meals a week if you can limit yourself to one meal a week of non vegetarian your bacteria will love you we should tell to our bad bacteria that day குஸ்கா எல்லாம் குட் பாக்டீரியா கிட்ட கொடுத்துட்டு லெக் பீஸ் எல்லாம் போட்டு உனைய வளர்த்த என்னடா அதுக்கு உன்னால என்ன பண்ண முடியுமோ அதை நல்லா பண்ணிட்டேன் சோ தி फिफ्थ ஸ்டெப் இஸ் டு நாட் டேக் எனி ஆன்டிபயோடிக்ஸ் அன்லெஸ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் அப்சல்யூட்லி नीडेड ஆன்டிபயோடிக்ஸ் நோ नोन டு டிஸ்ட்ராய் தி குட் பாக்டீரியா இன் ஸ்மால் இன்டெஸ்டன் பட் தி ப்ராப்ளம் இஸ் இன் இந்தியா people are eating antibiotics like as if it is an eclairs candy when i was in india i had some fever i went to the pharmacy store i asked for tylenol or paracetamol that guy was like if you take this paracetamol your fever will continue for 3 days if you take this amoxicillin antibiotic your fever will be gone in one day and he is telling me if you want a good doctor you let me know i will refer you to one so in addition to these five steps two little steps that will also help to promote good bacteria is stress avoidance it has been shown that stress completely eradicates the good bacteria in your small intestine stress agadinga abrinte stress panni solla vendathu irukku number 2 is hygiene hypothesis when i was a kid, i used to play cricket play football i was exposed to all the bad bacteria and good bacteria which diversified my small intestinal gut flora but now even if we have a small dirt in our kid we are like applying sanitizer right away to a point that the sanitizer bottle gets empty our parents made us play whatever we want because they had so much trust in surfexel and hamam soap i really don't mind if you don't follow these five steps but i really want you to develop up these five steps in your kid because i want smiling faces to make this world a better place and not faces admitted in the hospital let me know in the comment section regarding which of these five steps is easier to adopt or is it practically possible to follow all these five steps on a long term basis 
please let me know this video is being sponsored by ombre company which has a kit which will test your gut bacteria again if you think that if you have gotten at least one information out of this video please consider donation to our patients at aishwaryam trust in madurai this is a trust that we are developing for hospice comfort care patients neurological patients and we are providing 24 7 nursing care free of charge to all these patients who have financially exhausted their options or they don't have manpower to take care of them at an old age so please consider donation one belly at a time it is absolutely important i will see you in the next video